good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions. Okay, brainstorm. Think, think, more thinking. Mountain Dew and pizza, more Mountain Dew. Come up with something completely original. Not that original, this original. There is no sleep, because sleep is for the weak. Hey, what size screws did you order? 1032s? 1032s? What do you mean you ordered 1032s? I needed quarter 20s! Okay, you should probably sleep. Hey, sweetie, it's time to get up. It's a big day. How to build a team, a community, and self-confidence. It's complicated. Rosie the Riveter is an image with lasting power. From her creation during World War II as a figure designed to draw women into the workforce, to her use as a symbol for women's rights struggles in the 70s and 80s, she has endeared herself to us a representation of strength, courage, and change. Today, she lives on through First Team 3504, the Girls of Steel. Though her shoes are large ones to fill, we have taken on the challenge of representing her as 21st century Rosies. With her spirit of initiative, we take both the field of robotics and our community by storm. Since our creation in 2010, Girls of Steel has been involved in educating our local and global communities. By presenting at local workshops, mentoring FLL and FTC teams, and taking Dean's homework to heart, we've built close connections in our community by spreading the message and inspiration of STEM and FIRST. At a national level, we have been featured in ABC News' Tech This Out and acknowledged in the congressional record three times by Congressman Mike Doyle. At an international level, we have expanded our message as far as Canada, Africa, and Australia. We've presented at workshops in Toronto and collaborated with teams in Sydney via our YouTube project, Five Awesome Robots, which has received over 14,000 views in over 44 countries. Finally, through the African Robotics Network, or AFRON for short, we have touched the lives of students throughout the continent of Africa via videos and web comics produced by Girls of Steel. Though we have a large international reach, we don't forget about our commitment to our local community. In the past two years, our regional practice field has hosted teams from FLL, FTC, and FRC divisions. And our Week Zero competition this year drew eight FRC teams and over 150 people. The Girls of Steel is a team dedicated to making an impact on the lives of not only the young women on our team, but also those of young people from around the world. We tie the polka dot Rosie bandana each day to draw strength from her iconic image and use this strength to empower and inspire the Rosies of the future.